And another day at the ramp and another truck stuck on the ramp. The worst part of this one is he doesn't even have a boat on the trailer, so they are really stuck. And as he's spinning tires, you can see there he is sliding backwards. That is a dangerous spot. But welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are down here visiting Black Point Marina. And he's spinning them again, but again, getting nowhere. <sighs> this one's tough. When, when I see it like this with no boat on the trailer, I mean, they can try throwing weight on that rear tire, but something else is likely going on here. Or he's just hit the slick spot on the ramp, and they're just stuck. Oh, man, every time I see him spin and we're not moving, it makes it work. Now he's going in reverse. He's going to back up a little bit. I don't know that I recommend that. We'll get shot blocked for a moment as this boat crosses our path. And somebody's going to walk up to the truck and say something to him. So, I mean, we got a couple guys here now. Throw them in the bed of the truck, bro. Let's try and launch this thing and see if we can get it off the ramp. Nope, oh, we're going to spin tires some more. He's not really getting anywhere. I mean, he's only letting it spin for a couple seconds, though. I mean, it's tough because you don't... The problem is he's rolling backwards, too. So, like, really, you want to say, hey, let her rip. Let's get some traction going down here and try and get it up. But if it starts sliding backwards and he stays on the throttle too long, he'll be in trouble. So, now we're out here inspecting the trailer, trying to see if maybe something's off with this. Maybe it's caught on the dock. I mean, in some cases, it could be off the end of the ramp. I don't know that that's necessarily a big issue here, typically. I do know it happens at wraps all the time. I mean, I've had it happen to myself at a ramp, and it's kind of a jarring situation when you feel that trailer actually drop off the end, and you're wondering how it's going to come back up. So he's backing up a little bit again, but I'm not sure, again, that's the correct plan because he's just getting those rear tires more in the water. So, I mean, the backup, I think he's just trying to see if he can get a little bit of a running start. So, backing up one more time. I have to pay attention now to see if he actually gets any forward grip from this, and then it just stops at a certain point. And he does. So, okay, so he's backing up because they are definitely stuck on something. Now. Because if he's doing that, right there, they're stopped. They're stuck. The trailer is hitting something right there at that point. So, when he's backing up, he's trying to give himself a running start to break it free from that. As you'll see right there, they weren't moving at all. Again, here, we'll back up. And here, when he hits the gas, he'll move forward just that couple inches that he backed up. And actually, he didn't really get anywhere that time. Kind of. <laughs> so he's backing up again. But right there, you can see he got the couple inches, and then it's just stuck. All right, so at this point, you're going to have to try a different strategy. You guys are going to need to get some weight on those rear tires or do something a little different because it is now, after a few minutes of this, abundantly clear that the plan you guys have in place is not going to work. Spin them one more time, but again, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, at this point on the ramp, they're just stuck right there. Like, they can't get, he can't get any more traction. He's got to find a way to get some grip on those rear wheels or figure out what's going on with where the trailer's at. So the crew's coming out to take a look. He's back here looking at the trailer one more time, talking to somebody up on the ramp who looks like they're trying to determine exactly what the best course of action is. I don't see anything crazy going on with the trailer. Like, it doesn't look like it's all lopsided or anything crazy like that to where it makes me think it's stuck in, like, a rut, maybe? I mean, but it's definitely stuck on something. So we're going to try and evaluate this one more time. As the crew's got to figure out what the best course of action... I still can't believe that. I mean, they've got a couple people standing here. I don't know why we haven't tried putting anybody, period, in the back of the truck. I mean, there is literally four people staring at this trailer right now. Why can't we put three in the bed of the truck and let's try and get it rolling? 
But, I mean, they're looking at something at the trailer, so something's wrong somewhere. But again, to me, I just... We're not taking any real good course of action here. Just go ahead, throw the people in the bed of the truck. Let's try letting her rip and see if we can get it up. There we go. Finally, somebody takes some action, gets into the bed. Let's see if this is going to work. So we take two people. We're going to make one attempt, it looks like, at least with two people. Let's see if this is what they needed to get this done. And no, we're still just spinning. And we're not really making another attempt though. Oh, now the car next to him is spinning tires as well, but they're able to catch some grip and get out. And for whatever reason, we have paused and we are not making the attempt. There we go, one more try, but no hop from the kids in the back and they're not really in the right spot as they need to be kind of over the wheels or further back to try and do what they can to get that weight back. And somebody's talking to the driver though as well, but there's no real attempt going on here. So they're pointing out something again with the trailer, trying to figure it out. Okay, so we fast forward a few minutes here as they never really made another attempt with the kids in the bed of the truck. And then a few moments after that, one of the guys who've been talking to the driver of the truck pulls up in front of them and it looks like we're gonna get the attempted pull out here. I'm curious to see what the trailer does in this one. So if we can get some kind of indication as to what really happened, so really, I'll be trying to focus on that, on whether the trailer jumps or not, or because I'm not 100% sure what exactly went wrong here, but obviously something's not right in the way the trailer is sitting. So they're getting it hooked up now, getting it ready to go to try and pull off. And our guy's gonna go ahead and get in the truck. They're still talking to the driver, like the guys that are with the driver of the truck that's stuck are still talking to him, to him about something. So of course we're gonna get blocked as soon as they get everything hooked up and ready to go. Another vehicle pulls right in front of them and just blocks their lane. But here we go, we should get an attempt, there we go. I don't see, the trailer didn't really jump or anything either. Kind of a strange one. It really pulled out pretty easy on them. Unless possibly something's broken on the trailer. Maybe the brakes were locked up. I'm not 100% sure, but the good news is they're out and they're ready to roll. And speaking of ready to roll, we're going to roll out of here as well. Thanks for watching, crew. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, where me and a machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.